Hey guys, this video is going to be talking about converting uh, customary units of measurement. Um, we're going to be using uh, measurements of length, capacity, as well as weight. Now one thing when talking about converting units of measurement, um, whether it's customary or metric, one thing I like to use is are we going from a larger unit to a smaller unit or a smaller unit to a larger unit? And basically what that means is the unit that they're giving us are we converting it to a larger unit or a smaller unit based on what they're already giving us? So in this example up here, we have six feet equals blank yards. So we know we're going from feet to yards. And we and I always ask the question, are we going from a larger to a smaller or a smaller to a larger? Well, I know that feet are smaller than yards. So here we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So the question is, when we go from a smaller unit to a larger unit, what operation are we going to do? Well, when we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, the operation we are going to do is divide. We're going to take our base number that we got here. We're going to divide it by the number of feet that we know are in yards. So we know that there are three feet in every yard. Um, so six divided by three is two. So we know that six feet equals two yards. And that's because we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, so we use division. But what if we're doing the opposite? We're going from pounds to ounces in this example. We know that ounces are much smaller than pounds, so we are going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. To go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply. We're going to multiply by the number of ounces we know are in each pound, and we know that there are 16 ounces in every pound. So when we multiply these together, we're going to get 32 and 32 ounces. Okay. Let's try some other examples based on how we struggled on our quick checks. Um, this example we have here, we're going to do it the same exact way as we did previously. I'm going to look at gallons and I'm going to look at quarts. Okay? I'm going to ask myself, am I going from a smaller unit to a larger unit or a larger unit to a smaller unit? Well, I know based on any, me uh, any memory tool I have, uh, whether it be Gallon Man, Gallon Kingdom, Gallon Robot, whatever it is, uh, for customer units of capacity, that I know that a gallon is a lot more than a quart. Okay, but how much more? We're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. We are going to multiply. Okay, I'm going to take my base number of one half, put it there, multiply by the number of quarts in every gallon, and that is four. And we multiply one half by four, we get two. So one half gallon equals two quarts. Let's try another example here. We have three pounds, six ounces equals how many ounces? Well, I'm going to fo this is kind of tricky right here, but I'm going to focus on the pounds because I know pounds are much bigger than ounces. So I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. While I'm focusing on the three pounds, I'm going to say three times because I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit again. So three times the number of ounces in every pound, which is 16. And when I multiply three by 16, I will get 48. But we're not done. I could write 48 there, but I know my answer would not be correct because I have this 6 ounces here. So I need to add 6 ounces to my 48 ounces here because right now all we've calculated is the 3 pounds. So 48 plus 6 is 54 ounces. Hopefully that helped. If you still need some additional practice, there's a link down in the description. Um, enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video.